once again to my youtube channel this is reflex image if this is your first time visiting don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any question you can contact me whereby i'll get back to you as soon as possible in this video i'm only going to be showing you how to do just a simple shadow snoot effect using this picture over here and here is the result result of what you are trying to achieve and also i actually did multiple variants and as you can see with this one with the overlays there so i just decided testing out some of my uh background the other day and that's why that's how i came about this particular design this is totally free and if you want to know how i get that actual overlay i use uh there are videos on my there are files on my store you can actually purchase them my overlays are there my png and stuff so on and so forth so you can actually get the collection of the overlay with this overlay i use right now so with no further ado, let's jump into action on how I do this shadow effect. The first thing first is for you to duplicate your model layer by clicking on Ctrl G. After doing that, the next thing is to remove your model from the background. Very very simple to do that. You can use your quick selection tool, click on select subject and you're going to do selection for you. But I actually have my selection stored in a particular place. So I'm going to bring that back right now. So you can just go ahead and do the selections yourself. And if you don't know how to do that, there are videos on my channel, other videos on my channel that will help you know how to remove background perfectly without even having any issue later in the near future. So the next thing you'll be doing right now, I will do right now is to go to my select, under my select, I'll click on load selection. Then I'll from transparency here, I'm going to change it to what I say between. Then I'll click on my OK. As you can see, I have my selection back right over here. So after doing that now the next thing i need to do is to max my image i'm going to click on my layer max over here i'll click on it so you might not know what you just did right now but if i'm to turn out my background layer as you can see we actually remove our model from the background perfectly so you can turn it on back right now so now i can now start with creating this node effect uh this node effect i'll be using right now i'll be building it from scratch and i'm going to be giving you guys the png files so that you can also use it in case you're unable to get the actual thing i did so the first thing first, I'm going to pick my rectangle marker too. Mine, mine is over here, as you can see. I'll click on it. Then I'll make sure the color is on black. I'll make sure the screw, I'll make sure the stroke is turned off. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle box over this way. I think I want the length to be around this way. Once I'm done with the first one, I'm going to click on my pick too. Then I'll hold down my old key. Then I'm going to duplicate it. As you can see right now. I'm still going to hold the old key again to duplicate this one again. So that I have three. So you can see right now actually i have three selection here right now so now what you're going to do is this three let's make them together click on the uppermost one hold your control and shift key down then click on the last one then control e to make the three together control e as you can see we have the three on a single line right now so let me turn this back on right now so the next thing we do we can turn this off right now turn it off so we still go back to our rectangle marker tree again we are going to do the same three lines over here again but we are drawing one we are duplicating just one as you can see right now here's the line over here so i'm still going to pick my go to my pick two i'm going to duplicate twice again i will hold down my old key i will duplicate once then i'll duplicate twice this way as you can see i'll still make the three together again ctrl shift and select the two the three sorry then ctrl e so now let me turn this back on so i can see as you can see it's not aligning to my this so i'm going to click on it then i'm going to use my navigation key to move it to where i want it to be so that being said right now the next thing i'll be doing right now is to ctrl c on this one over here then hold on my ctrl key then i'm going to adjust it to make it look as if it's coming from the down as you can see adjusting it so that it's going to fit perfectly as if it's actually lying on the floor once you hold on your ctrl key you should be able to do this easily soon after stress you add as you can see right now so you can twist it to whatever way you want think i think i like it around this way what i just need to do is to click on my ok right now then i'm going to mesh the boots together the upper one and the lower one by clicking on ctrl and shift clicking on the boots then ctrl e ctrl e so the three the all the lines now are now in a single folder so for me to apply it on my picture as you can see it's actually above my model layer right now so i'm going to drag it to the middle of my model and the background layer as you can see right now so now you can decide to i uh, use the curve in two ways so first thing first we actually do not need these black lines over here all I, all I just need is selection from it so first thing first let's rasterize what we just did right now by right clicking on it then click on rasterize layer after doing that right now hold on my control key then i'm going to 
click on it hold the control key down then i'm going to click on it so it's going to make the selection for us so once you do that this rectangle over here turn off the layer then go to your adjustment layer then click on your curves click on curves then drag the curve down as you can see right now until you are satisfied with what is giving you i think i like it around this way so once i'm done with dragging it down i just need to go to the max on it click on the max then i'm going to increase the feather i'm going to blow it out a little so don't overdo the feather i think around this i think 20 pixel is okay i'll click on my okay as you can see right now we actually created something unique something different with our picture and if the intensity of the darkness is not okay for you click on it again and then still drag it down once you are okay you can try to do this this way or you can just increase it you can drag it up so there are two different ways you can do it you can decide to go for the lighter or the darker ones so i hope this video helps a lot that's about it today guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any question you can contact me Reba, i'll get back to you as soon as possible all my overlays and my png files are now going at a discounted rate of 20 percent this ember period so make sure you grab your copy and it's also going to be coming with the sample package also christmas overlays and png files also see you guys in my next tutorial one love so in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you, you just have to click on show more click on it so it's going to show all the options once it does that just click on my store link so here's my store link once you click on it it's going to take you directly to my store so you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lots this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing files my premium overlay my png my flying fabrics my color lookup my presets so once you buy this you've already bought everything apart from this one so here is my flying fabrics here is my in case you want to give me any project for me to work on here is my color lookup here is my background overlay and here is my presets file so in case you're interested in buying anyone you can actually go for them the good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency any currency of your choice you can buy with any currency of your choice 